Megatron, and you're an alien life form. Oh, Welcome the what a big head. For the mutual exchange of scientific knowledge and universal brotherhood. Lady and gentlemen, mom and dad, through the miracle of neutron nanotechnology, I present Smart Pants. He has been chosen. But what are you doing? Stop it! Stop it, you zealots! It rushes multiple cold fighters plus a powerful pain reliever wherever you need it. Oh, what a relief it is. Oh, oh excellent. I love getting a bath. Me first. No, me not. not. <laughs> Stop that. Fantastic. Lana, why don't you come to the board and solve this problem? Well done, Lana. Oh, thank you. Oh, a curtsy. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were Lola. Well, hello, sweetie. Congrats on winning the Royal Woods Recycling Challenge. Your prize is one of my world-famous anti pams slams. All 50 flavors with every topping you could ever dream of. This is for Bobby. I love him. Oh. You want to be my valentine? You want to sit next to me at the Valentine party? No! You want to share my Valentine candy? No! You don't have to give me anything, Bobby. I like you just for you. You do? Absolutely. Yuck! Uh-oh, that's not good. Some rocks have fallen from the mountain and landed on the road. I'd better land and get a closer look. There's maybe diamonds there, and we wouldn't have Father, we're just trying to be good Adamses, right, Pugsley? <laughs> Daddy, Mrs. Breckman just told me they're gonna make me the star of the play tonight. Amy got really sick, and I'm the only one who knows all the lines. Maureen, that's wonderful. You see, what did I tell you about biding your time? Somebody always walks into a propeller. Let me tell you the story of how my husband, Alfred P. Southwick, invented the electric chair. It all started in a beautiful day of a botch hanging. Okay, Anthony, now shoot the puck at me and I'll stop it with my goalie powers. Hockey! <laughs> stop it! Yeah! My day hockey! Ah! You know what? You know what? You know what? You were the man of the house! I don't want to be a man! That was your mistake! Prep the birthing room! I need a bike rag and some shackles! Get your filthy medicine away from her! You again? Stay out of our way! This lady's about to get a hundred cc's of the goof juice! And we I don't want any of your... Delivery room one. If I can't drug a woman into a delirious stupor, what's the point? I'll say it too. Since my brother Dunn did become a rock star, he got too big for his britches, and why well, don't wear none? Tough break, kid. Are you gonna eat this here cocktail wiener, huh? You light it with this. <laughs> Can somebody call the people mechanic? Go suck your mother's dick. At least I have a mother. Your mom died. Hey, Amy. I hope Bigfoot breaks into your house, kills your dad, comes to the funeral and shits in the hole, and then fucks your mom in the grave, and your mom says, Ew, that's the best grave shit fucking I've ever had, Bigfoot. What are you doing Thursday? <laughs> I won't let her say that about you. 
place chop my arms and legs off. Oh. Do it! Ah. 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 Thank you, fellow stranger. Are you not stung by that? Of course, but I regenerate. And because you helped me, I'll do that to you. <laughs> Help you, that is. <laughs> Let go! You didn't tell me what now, Tigtone? Eat it, Sprain! What? That's your plan? Eat it! I don't wanna! Eat! No! Eat the brain! Why can't you eat it? Eat! I don't wanna! It's the only way! You are right. There is no other way. Wait, Tigtone, you said we could go to dance over your dead body. Did you really mean it? I'm Tigtone. I mean everything. Well then, we better get ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're new, aren't you? Mm hmm Would you mind turning off that radio? I prefer to fly without being distracted. Oh! Oh, yes. A lot can go wrong. But since my skill is fortune-telling, I can handle anything. And what exactly is your skill? Dear Diary, no one feels pain as deeply as I do. No one suffers like I do. I am different. Can't you see I'm trying to write my dark thoughts? Almost 1,600 years worth of outfits. And I've worn every single one. Open only in case of fashion emergency. Oh, this is totally an emergency. It's almost finished. A few little adjustments here and there and it'll be ready to... Well, the pattern I've concluded from deductive reasoning is that whoever stole the power gems has some connection to... Wampa Whip! Crash, help me get this gizmo working. At long last, the world will have a way to recycle butter. If I get this Duminator eye working, we'll have the best entertainment system of all time. It'll play games, watch movies, and dispense butter. It'll be the mother of all TiVos! Crash! Crash! Dad! Your battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. And Winnie likes the show ponies. Happy birthday, Katrina. Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm Sunny Fox with a freaky weather fact. Did you know the highest temperature ever recorded in Kentucky was a steamy 114? That's even five degrees higher than Florida's record of 109. Is it me or is it an oven in here? Hi, Sunny Fox here. I wonder why people say no sweat when sweating's actually good for you. Reggie Bullnerd, perhaps you'd like to tell our late arriver, Mr. Tabooty? Tabooty? What the proper response to this picture is? Uh, unreal! Right! And that makes it... Ungood! Collect all the glitter charms and my world will be saved! See, I told you you were made for this kind of work! What was that sound? My tummy does that when I get hungry. What's the matter with me? I forgot I don't have to be hungry! This glitter charm has magical powers. Take out your glitter pack, Emily, and I'll show you what I mean. Yay! Ah! So you've accepted your destiny as one of the Glitter Force. They're the legendary warriors who defend the world from darkness and evil. It was a horde of steel-jawed, teak-hungry flying termites. They swarmed in the window, and they chopped the pedestal. We tried to stop them, but there were too many, and we too few. Steel-jawed termites? Really? Yeah, they're worse than killer bees. We should contact the National Guard. I'll get the phone. My name is Zatch Bell, and he asked me to give you this letter, Keo. From now on, I'll be in charge of your training, and you have to take good care of me. Zacker, or whatever your name is! Who turned out the lights? Oh, was that lightning? What kind of monster are you? Zatch Bell, like I said! Huh? Hey, why is your room so messy? Almost done, Goddard. The secret weapon that'll make our parents run screaming from the school. I call it Rebellion. It's got a blast! Ah! 